Bom dia. It's time to continue your re-education. The concept quotation mark real is a fluid one, I prefer to talk of different degrees of confirmation. Confirming one, confirming two, confirming three and so on, distinguishing the separation between a piece of information or an event from your direct experience layer. While the tasty burger you eat is confirming one, the idea of a holographic McDonald's restaurant populated with facsimile people that freeze when you are not there is confirming five for most. You get the idea. Equally tasty, today we look at a pair of important researchers that every human alive in these times should know, Professor Vladimir Kavinson from Russia and Professor Peter Garayev, also from Russia. Russians are pretty good at hardcore science. Professor Kavinson is the number one researcher for gerontology, anti-aging and rejuvenation in the Russian Federation. He is the director of the St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology. He is the principal scientist behind the development of bioregulating peptide therapy, with around 200 patents and hundreds of publications from 40 years of research. Every organ or tissue in the human body has a natural peptide bioregulator of which these are synthetic derivatives developed by Professor Kavinson and his team are absolutely fascinating molecules that can upregulate the corresponding organ or tissue in the human body to improve maintenance processes and general functions. He even gave some peptide bioregulators to his parents, who both reached an age above 90 years, which especially considering the average Russian life expectancy is a remarkable feat. Peptide bioregulators are one of the most advanced and yet also safe intervention options known to mankind, when it comes to restore and maintain biological potential and performance. With Epitalon, there is even a peptide bioregulator that can literally turn back your biological age by more than Brian Johnson's project blueprint, with way less effort and it can dramatically enhance your recovery abilities. You will find ample amounts of articles and videos about Epitalon on the internet, and also in the video description plus comments, but unfortunately not much material about most other peptide bioregulators can be found, such as for example Pinealon, Cartalax, Ovagen, Gonluten, Geloheart, Serluten, Endoluten, Gotratix, Visoluten and many others. Please check out the video description for further details, if you want to research Professor Kevinsen. His company Peptideproduct.eu is based in Riga, which at the making of this video is located in Latvia, and ships within the EU through DHL Express, with shipments usually taking only 24 hours or less within Europe. My personal shipment record with them from Riga to my NATO server cluster in Portugal was 18 hours, truly fascinating, they must be shipping directly from the airport. But you could also dare to take a trip to St. Petersburg and visit his institute directly. There you can get really thorough diagnostics to evaluate your biological and epigenetic age and biomarkers, as well as for example receive big 500 mg epitalon infusions. Strengthened and rejuvenated by these infusions, you can then, or now, learn about Professor Peter Garayev, the principal discoverer of the so-called wave genetics. The wave genome is a property of DNA that was discovered around the turn of the millennium and was expected by no scientist at all. The wave genome of an organism contains the holographic blueprint with the instructions of how to actually grow and develop the organism from its individual components. This makes a lot of sense, because for example how else would a tree even know that it's supposed to grow into a tree? The research into wave genetics by Professor Garif and his colleagues opened the doors to many new magical discoveries about DNA and its functions, such as DNA teleportation as evidenced in the 2015 research paper titled Transduction of DNA Information Through Water and Electromagnetic Waves by the late Dr. Luc Montagnier, the discoverer of the HIV virus, and his colleagues. Professor Garif and his followers might have pretty esoteric-looking websites, but this is part of a deliberate strategic deception strategy implemented by the Russian Federation. This technology and the discoveries represent real next-level science. Obviously, a discovery on a scale such as this cannot be totally kept secret, but it can be hidden in plain sight and psychologically masked in front of most inferior intellects and midwits. To quote from his publication Crisis in Life Science, the wave genetics response. To create an organism, two genetic programs are required. The first one is geometric, a scheme, how to design the body. The second program is in the form of a meaningful text which contains instructions and explanations how to use the first program, how to understand and build the organism. These programs exist in the form of DNA videotapes, which are used by the genetic apparatus, acting like a biocomputer. When the biocomputer reads these videotapes, sound and light images appear that constitute the movie program of the development of the organism. When the creation of a grown-up organism is completed, the movie ends. Then, the second movie starts, which contains the instructions for maintenance of the organism for indefinitely long time. 
Unfortunately, the videotapes containing information about a perfectly healthy organism get corrupted with time, errors accumulate, as DNA mutations. The instructions accumulate errors and the organism gets sick, grows old and dies. It is very likely that these DNA videotapes can be renewed and corrected. With this new understanding of how our genetic apparatus works, completely new technologies for healing a person and extending a person's life become feasible. And this is the essence of wave genetics and its practical applications to come. As it turned out, by further refining the science into the discipline of so-called linguistic wave genetics and by adding some laser systems to the setup, it was possible to create so-called quantum information matrices, or QIMs, used for programming plain liquids into medically active liquids, so-called quantum information matrix program liquids or in short, QIMPLs. Professor Garif demonstrated the use of QIMPLs to fully heal extremely pronounced diabetic feet and leg damage, documented in a research paper released in 2017. It is absolutely within the realm of possibility that someone, or something, has made similar discoveries and implemented these into the so-called COVID vaccines. Especially considering the absolutely unrealistic scale and speed of production, as well as the raw material requirements and manufacturing requirements that would be needed for a nearly global, human population-wide deployment of novel experimental mRNA or viral vector vaccines within nearly a few months. This possibility needs to be considered and evaluated by biosecurity-minded organizations and individuals. That is, the possibility of these files containing QIMPLs of a so-to-say dark nature. Stay biosecure.